testing testing this is a uh, a uh, conversation for a question that I had from one of my friends uh, from another person that asked me if I would add, explain what I my theory is to him um, the conversation started uh, we were at a coffee house and uh, the argument was uh, uh, cocaine versus uh, cigarettes which is worse and uh, this is what I said uh, in my theory from what I've seen in uh, in uh, cocaine use uh, versus cigarettes uh, from neuro studies um, uh, there, there's so many uh, psychiatrists, um, psychiatrists that we've had. We've had a famous psychiatrists who've wrote, written many studies. Uh, a one who had to leave a, a country to to escape the use of uh, the use of the uh, drug. Um, but then again, you have uh, you have people. Where you can, uh, if you've ever passed a uh, an AA or a uh, Narcotics Anonymous, I mean, you have people who are who are there who who have spent decades, uh, you know, on on the street, on street corners, and alleys, shooting heroin and uh, selling their body as it as it gets it gets uh, to that extent and they uh, they for 30 20 30 years you know people who have de diminished all possible relationships with those they once had in their lives as the drug uh, continually uh, devours their capability of, of retraction from being addicted to it uh, you, can, you can call it what you will uh, but in the neurosciences, uh, my um, theory had been leaned to one side, which was that of the uh, uh, cocaine explanation uh, versus uh, smoking cigarettes, uh, crackheads, let's say. Uh, if you've been to a major city, you've seen them. You know, even in the uh, urban uh, settings uh, you can you can see them uh, but they are they're 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 uh, addicted to a high uh, the consequence of of, uh, of lateral damage seems uh, more extensive because of the cost of the drug uh, the principles set forth uh, to a average user uh, have a very broad scale across the economic table uh, which has a uh, an Anders curve that is uh, not quite uh, the, <laughs> the good side for anybody that's involved and that is because uh, economically uh, it's not feasible for someone to uh, have a $500 a week habit you know which is a uh, which is just a it's a nonchalant uh, amount for a, uh, let's say, for a lawyer, or a dentist, a contractor. You know, it's it's just a thing to do. So the uh, so the the concept of argument for years, uh, since the uh, late '70s, uh, when we hit our crisis of of use, uh, it was it was. Uh, monumental when we realized uh, what the damages were to the person that uh, you know has a has a nine to five job at a at a Walgreens or uh, you know works at a car wash you know uh, even more as a consequence so to someone who makes just a little more money than uh, the average person you know we're at a poverty rate now of uh, approximately uh, 14 or 15 dollars an hour somewhere in that ballpark uh, so it's it's devastating 
to that person uh, for sure um, but on the consequence on the other side you have the uh, smoker the tobacco uh, smoker who smokes two packs a day and uh, while you're talking about uh, drug use where a, where a drug user uh, a smoker of cocaine or, or uh, somebody that does a, a line um, that's addict uh, has a, the addictive um, a grasp uh, to, to get it at the time which is also another discussion because when you're talking about the, the drug uh, the neurosensory uh, system is very different. The uh, endorphins uh, within the uh, release capacitors of the um, electro uh, signal that is sent is uh, is uh, reached at a a much uh, a much uh, quicker rate uh, for uh, satisfaction or what uh, trains the user to believe that that is in fact the answer. Uh, you know all these problems, but I can release my endorphins, and all of a sudden it's like uh, all of a sudden it's Christmas, and I got all the, I got money, and I, I'm not worried if I if I'm broke, and you know it doesn't matter if the lights are going to be turned on. It's uh, it's the moment. It's such a good moment that they they're always the dreamers. You know, oh, I spend the rent money, and then I'll you know I'll go I'll go I'll go buy or sell some stuff on Craigslist and get it back. So the receptors are are are, are uh, extracted at a much more extreme rate. Now the tobacco user is slightly different. The chemicals released uh, within the uh, sensory compounds for uh, that are released uh, by by motion are uh, much more dramatic, uh, but at a slower rate. And that is the key. They're much more dramatic. Not, not. I guess that maybe dramatic isn't a, a, the better of the word. It is a much more thorough investment into the release of uh, the uh, of the uh, chemical uh, endorphins that slow the uh, the anxiety and the uh, the shortness. If you've ever seen a cigarette smoker that doesn't have a cigarette. They, they have to have one, you know. They're 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 looking around like the crackhead looks for a rock, you know. It's no different, you know. Even picking up cigarette butts from other people, you know. Uh, but now, uh, you know, these are much slower uh, causes that 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 make that an addiction. But because the rate is so uh, is so uh, so minimal that you can you can actually uh, you can see why the addictive traits um, are so much more. Number one, access. Access is a key word. Um, access is a word that means. Uh, availability uh, access is a word that means uh, economics access is a word is a word that means uh, supply and demand the uh, the GNP access is a word that means price is no longer a hundred dollars a pack where cocaine is uh, you figure uh, I, I figure that uh, as, a, as a user I would imagine would from from the statistics of, of government statistics and and uh, the drug uh, uh, drug and enforcement uh, task force uh, the DEA as people know them um, it's about a hundred dollars or, or, 
or a gram, possibly, uh, is about what I, I think that's what you get a gram for. Uh, it's about $100. I'd, I'd have to check. It's, it might be lower now that there's more demand. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, you, you take that into account. Now, now here is the issue on, on my table. Is if I, as I told my friend, if I laid, if I laid them straight out, the issue. Uh, if they're all priced the same, then you would have to look at the, uh, the, the demand. Uh, what would the consequences be? Well, okay, now you have a crackhead user that uses crack the same amount of time that uh, somebody that makes seventy or hundred thousand dollars a year does. Okay. Now you have somebody who is on the same playing field as everyone else that does it. And why is this? Uh, they have the same amount of time for access to be able to use it. So they can use it whenever they have access. You wouldn't know because you would be one of the 70% of the people who are, or 80% of the people in this country who make less than $15 an hour. Um, that's just a mere fact. So uh, then you have to look at uh, damage. Well, if Tommy's got the the new car at 16 to go to school, and he's the cool kid, and uh, you have a nice house because a hundred dollars a day doesn't touch you, and uh, you're in the uh, you know in the community, and uh, you you're you're just an average citizen. Nobody looks at you. Uh, they, an officer pulls up behind you and runs your plates, and uh, you know your lights work because you can afford to put one in your car. Uh, you have a nice car because you can still afford to buy a new car. You know your car is still clean because you can afford to spend on a car wash what 80% of the people in this country spend in a day's worth of gas if they can afford it. And. Um, I mean, it's elementary. It's it's amusing, uh, almost. Uh, but it is uh, intriguing, uh, nevertheless. Uh, if you break down the issues uh, that separate the lines within, which is worse? I do know that uh, there is uh, a lot of, like I said, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and and Narcotics Anonymous and. You know, you see people who have destroyed their lives, but they can't kick a cigarette. And, uh, you know, I even used to be a smoker. And, uh, you know, I, I, by the, I, I thank God I just, I, I, I've, I've studied too much and done too much research into uh, neurotransmissions and chemical compounds and uh, isotope, uh, uh, you know, uh, endorphin releasers uh, within within uh, traits that lead lead to uh, neuro exchange and neuro systems uh, uh, there's so many there's so many things that I understand that education is definitely a key to uh, to uh, changing the problem that we have right now, but nevertheless, I I I could not I could not be at a community meeting in a suburban neighborhood in Middle America and with a straight face tell people, look, okay, I don't care what the guys doing on cocaine, okay. I mean, I'm sorry. Even driving, it doesn't it doesn't bother. If somebody, if I if I'm in a car with somebody and somebody were to tell me, man, I'm totally high on cocaine, I'd be like, well, just don't speak. You know, it's I don't know what to say. No, I wouldn't think about getting in a car with with a drunk. No way. Not even close.
and then we're 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 stuck on this uh, this precedence of of issue. I'm supposed to worry about cocaine and half of America is prescribed prescription meth. That's scary. You know, I don't I don't know what to say. But uh, it is what it is, and it shall be as it is. But if I were in that meeting in town town square for Middle America, I'm gonna look my my uh, my 32 year old housewife in the eyes with two children uh, living in a $280,000 house or a $150,000 house, and you know uh, the old man he's got a he works puts in overtime, you know. They spend the weekends, you know, trying to manage their property and keep the grass mowed and get the kids' homework done and live like citizens. But, uh, you know, I could, I'd have to look her in her eyes and tell her, you know, if this, if this product that we have was the same price as a pack of cigarettes, I guarantee that guy with the gun wouldn't be running around neighborhoods like this looking for an easy thousand dollars. The whole game changes at that point. Oh, well, what about addiction and what about this? Who cares? If somebody wants to have a heart attack, uh, whacked out on blow, and uh, what do I care? I, I don't. It has nothing to do with me. It's no different than the guy who who, whose pain just keeps getting worse and the prescription med pain pills just keep going up. I don't, you know, what do you want me to say? And it is um, dramatically, okay, now this is a very, uh, a very um, uh, exciting uh, issue I discovered. Dramatically in the statistics, let's take a drug that is very widely prescribed right now. We have, we've had this boom in the last eight years and it's been climbing at that. Let's talk about Adderall. Here's a good one. Speed is what it is. It's, uh, if you've never done a line of cocaine and you've taken two Adderall, uh, welcome to cocaine. Because uh, you could uh, give it the same flavor compound and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I know that. I've done it in high school. I'm not stupid. That I remember. Done Adderall once because I had to get some reading done that I was working on and I just wanted to stay up. My friend said, hey, she said, hey, just take it. I have some Adderall. You want to try taking Adderall? So I took one. And I haven't felt like that since high school. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't take pills. I don't do anything like that. I don't even smoke. I drink once in a while. So, um, you know, that's what I'd have to tell her. You know, um, you're at a stoplight, and you're in, in, in L.A., or you're in, uh, well, we really don't have that. Uh, Chicago's not that common anymore, but you're in Dallas or something, you know, where cars are a hot commodity. Unlike the Midwest, you, if you don't have a car, you're not going anywhere when it's 110 degrees outside. You're not even moving. You might go from one casino to the next, but uh, that's about it. You're not walking anywhere. And you're not taking the bus. Their bus fare there is over $4 one way. I don't, I don't know how anyone's supposed to afford that. But... Uh, you know, like I said, it's it is what it is. the The extremity is on, on Adderall. Here's the in, the entertaining fact. Uh, if you look up uh, uh, physicians or uh, or the uh, physicians uh, st statistics or uh, pediatrics, uh, you can look at the childhood development uh, from uh, the Ritalin uh, explosion we had in the 80s uh, uh, to how it has. Uh, morphed itself into this new uh, appetite for a for an answer of problems and uh, drug uh, uh, drug access for something that's a prescription drug that seems to be helping a lot of people and that's what it is. What it does not do, it does not help the African American. Scary. 
scary. And uh, what what are we talking about um, numbers wise? From what I've studied, if you take 100 people with kids who have problems and emotional problems, and this is just the uh, this is just a, an epidemic of our healthcare system. Period. 97 of those 100 people that are prescribed Adderall, even with a broad health care system with cross the board coverage now, that's scary, 90% or 97% of the 100 people who are prescribed Adderall are Caucasian. It's hilarious. Why is that? Well, that's a that's another twenty minute discussion. We're already at twenty one oh five. So um, it is what it is. So, in my vast opinion, I would say, well, of course, in today's society, of course, of course, of course, uh, it has to be the way it is. Okay. I, again, I, I I'm not saying the laws are right. I'm not saying they're fair. Okay, but I'm saying for for somebody who is a casual or a, uh, whatever you call it, for somebody who is a, a, a once in a while user, uh, I think the laws are a little extreme. Um, uh, but then again, if uh, I think if they're gonna, if the laws are gonna be what they are, then I think at least for the medical community for the salt enzyme that is the derivative that is removed from it that gives us uh, a lot of our pain medication and attributes pain meds that inhibit our uh, receptors for neuro for uh, our nerve receptors for our nerve endings for for pain response I do believe that uh, if we're gonna do that then uh, we need to start some uh, type of agreement uh, with uh, the South American governments and uh, for sure, if the product is going to be what it is, then it should be uh, it should be purchased instead of hustled. And uh, I think a kilo should should be purchased for. I, I think if it were purchased for for in, instead of the price it's at now, or in a, a government rate, you would be looking at about eight thousand dollars or nine thousand dollars kilo. At a government rate, uh, a pharmaceutical rate, probably seven, because they don't ask them up for they they don't give many choices, from what I understand. But uh, I think uh, that same one that is uh, priced at ten, let's say ten across the board, and the uh, and the, all the statistics and uh, Drug Enforcement Task Force (DEA) government statistics of uh, crime and national crime reports uh, from 1970 to 1980 to 1990 to the 2000s, I would have to say that uh, it should be $65,000 a kilo then. You're taking a kilo from a South American uh, village and you are uh, stripping it of its chemical pot compound and it is then turned into an element that is then replaced into something as small as a 20 milligram uh, Novocaine shot and uh, you know, all of a sudden, you're going from a hundred dollars a gram from a peasant who makes that's what he does all year to make his seven or hundred seven hundred dollars or thousand dollars in South America, and that's enough money to feed his child with his roof with has holes in it and his wife, so she doesn't go hungry. And you're selling that same kilo uh, to a legal market for uh, and making a profit margin off of it over fifty, sixty thousand dollars easy. It's a crime, is what that is. But uh, I don't have the power to change anything like that, or you know, it is what it is. But uh, in my opinion, that's. I guess that just leaves you at one at one status. Well, a yeah, of course it's not going to change. But if we lived in a world that was uh, 
remotely um, educated, I guess. I don't know. I meet a lot of people who are educated and they don't know anything about anything. They got uh, plaques all over their walls and uh, no common sense. I have met, I did meet a doctor though about five years ago and um, very smart. Very rare. A rare find. And uh, almost as, almost as, to this day it astonishes me that somebody would be in his position and uh, and still not uh, not be swayed by uh, any element. That's uh, that's all I can say. No names given. But uh, you know, it all comes down to neuroscience. It is what it is. You either know it or you, you study it or you don't. You either understand how the how the chemicals are transmitted and uh, how the, even in the kinetic field, if you dissect an energy uh, into a, even if you could break it down to a, to an eon, uh, uh, break it down as, as small as possible, um, past micron, uh, it, uh, it all be, it all becomes different. Uh, there's no, uh, and, and you speak to people that don't understand the dissection of an energy, and they, they, uh, they mock you, and they, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, dismiss you because they have no idea what you're talking about. None. So they dismiss you, uh, and and then they call you arrogant. A lot of people call you arrogant. I have. A lot of friends that are in neuroscience, and they are people call them arrogant. They say, "Oh, you think you're smarter than everybody." I I would have to disagree and say there are no smarts when it comes to it. It is a strict science. Uh, the physical attributes of uh, an electrical signal from a cell phone uh, to a vibrator to a coffee blender to a microwave. I don't care what it is. Okay. The 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 transfer of energy is the same. Einstein, you know, I don't know, I don't know what more you can say about the man. Some of his theories, they, they will, they will, they will never be broken unless God changes the elements himself. Or, or not to say himself, that's almost arrogant for me to think I could, I could have a, 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 a capability of understanding uh, such an intelligent, uh, entity. It's ridiculous for me to even believe that I, I as a as a human being booger could understand even have a grasp of how great uh, of an intelligent uh, intelligent uh, entity that that could possibly even be. Beyond beyond my my scope. We just got off the horse a hundred years ago, and our our grandparents used to shit in a hole on the ground in, in the woods in a little box, even in the winter time. Uh, we are we are not uh, advanced. We are we are barely out of ape, barely out of the cave. Some still have the cave genes, as found in the. Uh, DNA ladder trees that uh, have been broken so extensively uh, it, it is what it is there is no uh, I can't say well this is possible or this isn't possible uh, it either is or it isn't there's either a proof or it isn't if you want to have a transferred uh, image or thought a word that comes to your mind the impressional design um, that has been built into that attribute that sends that signal to that memory is no different than a microchip. It's a molecular drive. It's all it is. Uh, current. And uh, the beauty of Einstein in my closing is, is we're coming up on uh, 29 minutes, almost to 30, is that the most beautiful part of this man was MC squared. Um, force, movement, 
energy and the thing that was discovered was that there is no energy in this world known to mankind or existence that can ever be destroyed that is a physical principle of physics that we based every theory we have ever come up with since the beginning of mankind no energy can be destroyed it can be transferred into a different energy even in an ionic fusion an ionic fusion or particle manipulation and spread even within the fabric if you've studied advanced attributes and physical capabilities even in an ionic fusion the kinetic energy is not destroyed is not so you wonder where your energy that runs uh, could run an automobile if you could put both fingers on a battery and pull your brain out of your head because that's how much energy is actually going through it you uh, you realize uh, uh, when you're not here anymore if you've ever seen somebody who's dead their energy is gone you can look at them and know if someone's dead there's not a whole lot of test you can double check uh, before you leave them or you can double check before you call the, an ambulance or you can double check before you're in a hot zone and you got enemy all around you and you got to get the fuck out but uh, there is no way that that energy uh, just disappears it's impossible possible it can be transferred it could be dissected it could be uh, gained by another attribute uh, within physical within physical within the properties of physics but uh, it cannot disappear not possible not possible you go into uh, the same thing you do when you crash your system your system shut down as they do power is diminished slowly 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 but if you are a physicist you know that your system may be shut down but all you have done is slowed the energy disbursement of that physical connection to that power which is existence because we are in that connection cannot be changed your electric bill goes up and when you power down your systems it goes down same thing your energy is simply transferred to the uh, next element some say for uh, it, it is dissected that's a that's a whole two-hour program so that's my theory on whether or not cigarettes are worse than cocaine uh, that's all I would say in a town meeting if a lady asked me. Maybe we'll have to have a discussion on kinetic energy uh, um, disbursement within an uh, electron. And it's very interesting, especially when you get down to the uh, to the uh, anatomy of of it uh, within the. Uh, neuroreceptors uh, very interesting very very interesting 
in that discussion, uh, we will focus on the kinetic disbursement um, and the and the intelligence, how the memories are developed and stored. That is fascinating. And if you're if that doesn't interest you, it almost it almost hurts my feelings. Um, it's fascinating how the kinetic energy is sent and uh, installed on a ladder of uh, direction on a plane of a neural field uh, where there are a thousand plays and ten thousand calls uh, that give us our language it is a very simple platform uh, your chip in your cell phone was 500,000 times more difficult to build because it's 500,000 times smaller and it's uh, it is, it is an incredible incredible science if you uh, even even if, even even in botany uh, if you uh, if you want to get into the be the beginning of uh, of uh, studies in science uh, and, and start to find stuff that's uh, relatively easy to grasp a concept of before you uh, go into chemical compounds and uh, physical principles of uh, energies and atomic weights uh, you really 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 uh, should try botany because it's it's interesting because you can see the development of within within systems uh, where you wouldn't have the you wouldn't have the uh, the money or the the energies to invest in doing uh, doing something like that at home in a home lab for neurosciences um, but that is very interesting I started out with that as a child it was uh, you can uh, it's very it'd be very interesting a very good idea if your kids don't know uh, if you have kids to uh, maybe get a telescope uh, a uh, a, t a telescope and uh, or not a telescope but a microscope and uh, get some slides and uh, start looking at that stuff uh, chlorophyll uh, interesting very very interesting so and that's my uh, that's my conclusion so the next uh, next time I do a little recording we're gonna do one on uh, mental capacity uh, storing and uh, and information data transfer through uh, neurosensory and uh, neurosensory principles and images. Thank you. Have a good day.